I got puppy cuddles with little Miss Lilac. You're gorgeous. She's the firstborn baby. She's not totally wrapped up. I'm just holding her in this so there's don't get any germs on her. Look at her little nose and her little big paws, actually. They're very big. She's got this little cow's lick on her arm there. It's so cute. And Matt. Matt has got... Yeah, biting. Matt has got... Which one have you got? You've got Miss... Miss Orange. You've got our baby. Little orange dots. Oh, go on. Miss Orange. And Tilly's hiding down there somewhere. And the other two are in the whelping box. Maybe you can see. I can't reach any higher. She's got a cow. They're probably going to get copyrighted for this music, but we've got the pups. Oh, I'm not holding it. They're all secure. Oh, Lion King. Got a face I've got Miss Orange, who's going to be ours. Hannah's got little Miss Yellow. And Matt has got Miss Lilac. Mum's just taken Mr. Blue back. Look at her little oh, eyes. Hi, baby. She's the only one still to have her eyes open. Oh, right, it's time for bed, like, puppies. She's like, she's like, we just watched How to Be Single. Yeah. <laughs> you want to explore, don't you? You want to explore the world. Come on, let's go to bed. Let's put you in bed. Right, ready? Good night. Come to mommy. Come to the room. Come on, you cool off. Hello vlog. Just done a bit of a live stream on, um, I did one on my Facebook and then I did one on Instagram. So if you want to see some live puppy action, you need to go and follow Tilly on her Instagram. Um, I'll have it in the description somewhere and I've just put their collars on them for a little bit so that when we did the live stream everyone knew who was who but Mr. Blues is clearly on too big, he's moved a bit. So um, yeah, they're, doing, they're getting so big, honestly, like, this is my hand. Oh, oh, you don't like Miss Purple being on you anymore. Oh gosh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, you're... Oh, she's so nearly barking. You go get what you want, Mr. Yours is fun. They're really nearly walking as well. They are just so, so cute. Sorry if you're not a dog person, but like, I've got a feeling that the title of this video is probably something like more puppy cuteness or something about puppies probably. <laughs> so you probably haven't even clicked on it. But yeah. So this, this is the one that we're keeping. She's Miss Orange. She's got a big belly at the moment. Um, Miss Yellow. Oh, I think my phone's auto rotated. This is Miss Yellow. She's super cute. Oh yeah, she's she's um got a she's got a home already. Someone's already decided that they want her and pay the deposit. Um, we think we've got interest in Miss Purple, but not in Mr. Blue really. We've had a couple of people inquire, but no one's taking it any further. But yeah, Miss Yellow is probably cute. Actually, they were all really cute. I can't pick my fa well. I can't pick my favorite other than the fact that we're keeping her. So I guess she is my favorite. But oh, so good, actually, you're a little bit cold. Maybe it's because we've had the door open because the dog keeps coming in and out. So they're probably temperatures dropped. Because when I first came in here, it was really really hot. Anyway, weight wise, um, that was when they were weighed this morning. This is in grams. So blimey, Miss Lila looks nine hundred grams. So yeah, they're all doing pretty good. Um, Miss Yellow was the smallest this morning, but yesterday. She was the smallest, but only one gram. So, I mean, they change weight so much, like all the time. So, can't really say for sure. But yeah, she'll probably be the biggest tomorrow. No, she won't. Miss Lilac's always been the biggest, apart from when they were first born. When in fact, Miss Yellow was the biggest. So, they're all gaining weight. Really happy, healthy pups. <laughs> You're not happy about this, are you? You wanted to play in. Have a little chill time in the living room. And then all the puppies suddenly arrived. Nice <laughs> face. Look. What has happened? How are they multiplying? <laughs> so he's like, I don't know either, to be honest. It just happened. One day I just felt a bit funny. The next thing I knew, they were just coming out.
Hello guys, welcome to a new weekly vlog. Um, I have just been to the doctors. Well, I've just been to the doctors and left pretty much instantly because they do this thing where you go in and you can just see if there's an appointment. Like, you can just sit and wait for one. So I did that, but the surgery was so busy. There wasn't even, like, sitting room seats left, so, like, there was no seats at all. So I'm just going to... Uh, uh, I'm just going to get in the car for one minute. Yeah, so what I was trying to say was... I, yes, I went and um, there was literally no room at all, even to sit down. It was so, so busy. I guess it's a Monday morning, so everyone over the weekend, I didn't really think about it. I just thought, oh, I'll go down. Um, it was nothing serious. I wanted to get my... I wanted to get some more advice on my gluten thing. Um, see if I really am... See if they have any more further results from my blood test because I did one back in the summer and never heard anything from it. And um, which obviously is supposed to mean that there's nothing wrong, but every now and then I just feel like you've got to check just in case they forgot to get back to you or they sent a letter and it never arrived or something like that. And I just wanted to get some advice as well because this is going to sound weird. My ears, right? Every time I swallow, I get a crackling noise in my ear, and I've had this for years. And I went to the doctors about it about two years ago and I kind of didn't, I don't think I described it properly. I think I just said I kind of get like more pain when I fly because at that point it just started. And they kind of just gave me this nasal spray thing and was like, yeah, yeah, that'd be fine. But then it started giving me a sore throat and that was one of the side effects. So I stopped taking it. It didn't really improve the crackling, um, but it did. Like, I just feel like my ears are really like blocked and there's a lot of pressure. It did kind of release the pressure. So I just kind of accepted that that was probably the only thing they could do and went away and then a couple of weeks ago I was watching this morning as in the program on ITV and someone rang up with the same problem and they were like oh it's something to do with I'm not an expert on ears but there's a part of your ear and it's something to do with that you need to get it checked because their doctor had kind of fobbed them off as well and the doctors on there were like you need to go back you need to get it looked at you need to get um in my I don't I can't really remember what they said but basically there is an actual problem with something in my ear and um, so I thought I'd go in and like ask about my gluten and stuff and ask about that um, to get a doctor's appointment where I live. It's about a month and a half wait because my town has, there's not enough doctors in my town. So it's a real problem with, um, and basically my town is where like, it's like 70% older people, retired people. And so obviously they go to the doctors a lot. And so there's no appointments left because they take all the appointments. And I know obviously they have to, but it's a little bit frustrating when... I have had um, stomach and digestive issues now for nearly two years and it hasn't been resolved, which has, it has really affected me. I mean, I don't really talk about it because it's kind of gross. Like, if you want to know more about gluten intolerance, if you just search for symptoms, I've had most of them if you're really interested. Um, I'm not that squeamish about talking about it, but I know that, pe you know, I don't want to put people off their lunch or whatever if they're eating stuff. Um, you never know what people are doing when they're watching your vlogs. I just need to, re I just realised I really need to dust my car. Oh so much dust in him i really need to clean my car in general it's disgusting but yeah anyway welcome to a new weekly vlog i'm gonna try and get the rest of i'm really behind <laughs> i'm really behind on the vlogs um there's gonna be loads of cute puppy stuff coming up this week what else is happening this week i have got to go really hardcore on doing maths papers and work because i matt and i booked a holiday last week at the end of last week's vlog i don't think i really even talked about it we are going on holiday in April and um, we've booked it and it's not going to be like, we're not going to, I don't know whether to say what we're going to or not. When will this vlog go up? Probably like two weeks from now. I'm not sure. I might be there at the moment when I'm watching this vlog. Might not be. I might, be. I might suddenly edit all the vlogs. Um, yeah, we booked a holiday. It's not going to be super hot, but I've also now, because we booked, oh, I know where I need to go. I need to go to the bank. I just got back in the car. I need to go to the bank. I'm going to run around to the bank. <laughs> That's my next job. And then I'm going to go home. But yeah, there's going to be loads of cute puppy stuff. Um, I'm going to have to start getting stuff sorted for our holiday because it's like two weeks away. Maybe three, but I feel like I'm going to end up being really busy up until then with the puppies. I kind of want to get organised early. We're going with hand luggage and one suitcase between us. Well, Matt won't need the suitcase. He'll take a bigger bag for his hand luggage. But I wanted a hold luggage bag because I just know I'm not going to be able to... Because we're going for a week, I'm just, I just know I'm not going to be able to fit all my stuff in hand luggage. I think I've done it before once, but it was like stressful and I don't want it to be stressful. And we're going full board as well, so we don't have to worry about any food whilst we're there. Um, so it's going to be really good, but um, not too hot, I think. I don't want to, I want to tell you where we're going, but I just don't know. I need to check with Matt if he's like okay with me telling you where we're going. Because, you know, privacy and all that jazz. Anyway, I forgot what I was going to say. This week 
it's going to be a lot of getting stuff done. I'm going to have a, I'm going to write a massive tick list when I get home and I have to finish it by the end of the week. It's going to be pretty intense. lovely day i have done one paper it took me ages to do it i just wasn't in the right like i wasn't in the zone um i've done a paper and what else have i done oh i just started doing some more of my bullet journal stuff i just started actually planning my like holiday pages because i was i was just thinking about what i've got i never really use it i kind of got out of habit of using it for things other than just my weekly Things. So I thought I know what I'll do, I'll look up and see what people do and I found some really cool like holiday planning ones like an itinerary page and like a packing a packing checklist thing so I just used some of, I've just kind of like copied some ideas of those and kind of made them work for me. Um, so yeah I'm really excited about those, I'll try and show you them before I actually add all of the details onto it like I've just done the outlines at the moment so actually I'll show you those before I write like my flight times and everything on there and where I'm flying from and stuff so you don't because you don't need to know all of that information. I'm just come down to have a look at the little puppies. Puppies, has anyone opened their ears yet? No. I actually need to weigh them, so um, I'm gonna try and do that now, because they've all just had a good old feed off mummy. So where is my tripod? Over here. Honestly, this is the best thing in the world. It is a Joby gorilla pod. Um, with the phone mount on top. This is actually the big gorilla pod for like DSLRs. I've got the mini one as well, but my mini one's a bit old and a bit worn out. It doesn't like, it's not very stiff. It just falls over all the time. So I'm using my big one, but this is what I use my phone. I use as a tripod for my phone and it works so well. First things first, gotta sanitize them hands. I've nearly gone through an entire bottle in just over a week. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Right, here's coming first. We're going age order, shall we, Miss Lila? <sighs> Little Miss Purple. Are you going to sit in there? No, no. 970. 976 grams. Congratulations, you're getting so big. Look at the camera, aren't you so cute? Go, Timmy. One's done. Miss Orange, you're coming next. Are you going to stand in the way of the camera so we can't see Miss Orange being weighed? Is that how it works? There you go. Right. Eight. Eight, nine. No, leave her alone. No, I know. Eight, nine. Eight, 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 nine. I'm not quite sure which one you are. No, no. Don't tip it up. Don't tip it up. I'm going to say eight, nine, eight, nine, oh, eight, nine, eight, ninety, eight hundred and ninety grams for little Miss Orange, who's opened her eyes. Are you going to open your eyes? Oh, I know. It's so tiring being a two-week-old pup. Can you show them your pretty eyes? Is that your pretty eyes? I know. You're so cute. You're my little baby, aren't you? You're staying with us. You're not going anywhere. Has mummy come to check? Mummy wants to lick your bum. Okay, you can go back in. No, 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 no. You can go back in the yellow. Miss Yellow. Oh, I didn't write down her weight. Um, eight ninety, eight ninety, eight ninety. Eight ninety. You stay right there, Miss Yellow. You're a good puppy. You don't ever move. Oh, oh, how big are you, gorgeous? You opened your eyes this morning, didn't you? What are you doing? Eight. Oh, you're about the same as your sister. Eight, eight, nine. You're one gram less than your sister. Are you going to show the camera your pretty eyes? Are you going to show the camera your pretty eyes? Are you going to show the vlog? Are you pretty? Oh, yeah. That's the big yawn. You opened them this morning. Is that your mummy? Is that your mummy? Is that your mummy? She's checking on you. 
She seems okay. It's yellow. Hello. Hiya. You're gonna open up. Oh, it's okay. Not today. Miss Lilac is getting really, really fat compared to the rest of them. I think I'm gonna have to quarantine her when we feed. Cause she's getting too fat compared to these other two. Right now, Mr. Blue, it's your turn. There you go, Mr. Blue. Nine, you're gonna be between nine three and nine four. No, don't get out. I know. Keeps going between 939 and 941. We're going to go with 940, aren't we? That's a good boy. You're going to show the camera your pretty face. You haven't opened your eyes quite yet, have you? No. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. Your little nose is very black now, isn't it? It's very black. Where are you trying to go? Where are you trying to go? No, Mummy Tilly. No, no, no. Give him a kiss. Right, come on, back in the bed. Oh. And that is how you weigh four puppies. Everyone's getting back to sleep now. These two are like, yeah, we're, we're already back to sleep. We were weighed first. Is that necessary, Mr. Blue? Was that really necessary? Was that necessary? What's going on? Oh, it's Miss, Ye it's Miss Orange! Oh, I do, do apologise, Mr. Blue. I think it was you at first, but now it's Miss Orange. What are you chatting about, Mrs? You see, there's some weird tripod in my welcoming box. Come on, Mummy. Go sort them out. Go give them a hand. She still doesn't realise that when I say Mummy, I don't mean my mum. I mean her. Because she is now a Mummy. What are you looking at, Miss Yellow? What are you looking at? Oh, oh, <laughs> that's a bit dramatic. Come right over here. Come here. Can you see your beautiful eyes? Can I see your pretty eyes? Hmm. <laughs> Miss Lilac. <laughs> Exploring. This is the end. Not allowed to go any further than that. You're trying to walk, aren't you? <laughs> Look at your pretty face. Miss Orange! Where are you going? No, not my calculator. You need to stay on the here. Look at those eyes. Are you exploring? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. No, 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 no. Right, no. No, 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 no. No, you can't run off the side of the bed. I know your mummy's down there. Why are you sat on my laptop charger? You're trying, aren't you? Come on, stay on the mat. Come on. Mm. <laughs> So hello guys, I have just on my second paper of the day and I'm joined here with little Miss Orange. Come on. She's perfectly secure in my arms. She just wants to explore because she can see titties down there so she wants to run away. Um, yeah, I've actually managed to get everything done in the day which I'm quite excited about. I really need to go out and do some do some more steps because I have not done enough today. Um, you nuzzling into my top four. Yeah, I have not done enough steps today. I've only done like 4,000 so 
may go for a little drive and find somewhere nice to go for a little walk because I haven't I've just been walking around my town a lot lately which isn't a bad thing I just fancy something a bit different and um yeah she's really trying to walk I feel like I've vlogged enough today for a daily vlog not even you know regardless oh, I don't know what I'm talking about I just I'm, I'm done I've done a lot of papers I've just done my first stats paper for a while and I got an E but I was quite close to a D and I really haven't done much stats um because I got a C last year so I kind of felt like I'd done I've like done okay um obviously I could do with improving because then I don't have to do as good in mechanics what are you trying to, <laughs> you trying to do and then that's the you show the camera see the camera you're pretty face yeah this is your forever home oh oh okay you just want to have cuddles you want to go down my top okay what are you trying to do what are you trying to do she's like licking me you hungry? Are you hungry? I've now got mummy there. I'm watching Jeremy Carl. Well, I was anyway. It's an ad break. What are you, <laughs> what are you trying to do? That oh, was silly, wasn't it? That was silly. Come on. Might put you back in the welcome box now. You've been up for a while. Yeah. Hello cuties! Happy two week birthday! I know, it's so tough being a little puppy. Ah, look at the nose. Anyway, we are currently having, oh, we are currently trying to have a photo shoot, but um, Tilly saw this and thought that that meant she was allowed up there, so she's got up there and I've just put the two smaller ones on. Um, Miss Yellow and Miss Orange. I put Miss Yellow on first because she's a bit smaller than Miss Orange and we're just giving them a little bit of extra feeding time whilst the two fatties sleep. Miss Lilac, she is now over a kilogram. She's getting really, really big. Um, and he's very, very nearly, she's very nearly walking as well and they are so cute. I could just watch them for hours and hours and hours. Just did a stats paper. Um, it's actually about like two o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, 2.01. Um, this morning I went down to the doctor's surgery and... Oh, having fits over the nipples. <laughs> they get so excited. The little pores are getting so dark. This is like their, um, the skin, the colour their skin's meant to be. When they're born it's all pink so it has to change colour. Um, yeah, so I went down to the doctor's this morning. And I managed to get... Well, I had to wait like over an hour still to get be seen by a doctor. But basically I've got this problem with my... I've got dysfunctional eustachian tubes, is that the word, for the, in your ear? I've got dysfunctional ones, they don't work, so the pressure's all mucked up in my ears. And also I have like a low iron count or something. They said there's no real point in keep testing me to see if I'm gluten intolerant because unless they, I mean, he didn't even offer a biopsy, but I guess unless they did that, there's no real way they would know for certain. Um, he said if it's helping, just keep doing it. So I'm gonna keep doing it. Um, yeah, I came back, had some food, and and then I did a paper, and now I'm just playing with the puppies. Um, they're so cute, honestly. I just I know you're probably so fed up with me talking about them. I also need to film a video. I'm doing a video with BBC um, on their BBC bite-sized revision. It's a revisiony one on the mindset campaign they've got running at the moment. Um, I'll try and link something below. It's probably gonna be finished by the time this vlog goes up. Also, I need to get the other vlog up. I've got it up, but it's not public. Um, and so I need to film that. I was thinking about doing some kind of like top tips for exam success, like things that you just can be blanket all subjects, but will give you some success and hopefully will help. Just things that I feel like because I feel like I've done a lot of videos on revision and I don't want to repeat myself. But um, I thought this could be good for people, no matter what subject you do, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to film that at some point. I also need to film another video for my main channel. I've got my um, Love Me Beauty thing up. I just need to make the thumbnail for it so I can make it public. I uploaded that. I edited uploaded that last night. 
Um, so yeah, I need to do a bit of catching up. I've done one paper, I need to do another paper, but I'll probably do it later on. Um, so I'm going to have a couple of hours getting stuff done. Um, look at these little paws. Oh, just so cute. Come on, focus, please focus. Please focus. Oh, the little claws actually need trimming. They're a little bit, a little bit scratchy now. They're not like too long. They're just scratchy and I'm kind of worried. I don't want Tilly getting scratched up by... I don't want them scratching Tilly up when they do this as well. They often like pour her when they're drinking and I don't want her to get all lacerated. Are you even drinking? Yeah, you are. I thought she was just falling asleep. Ugh, the nipples are so gross once they've drunk from them. They like have saliva everywhere. Um, but yeah, I think it's time to add these two into the Milky's equation. You've had a good five minute head start. So Miss Lilac, you just had your medicine. Yeah. It's a good girl. Oh, oh yeah, you yeah. need to lick your lips. Right, <laughs> <laughs> and it looked like milk, but it wasn't milk. <laughs> <laughs> it's all around my nose, my mouth. Oh. Mr. Blue, do you take your medicine? No, oh, it's all around my mouth still. <laughs> She's the smallest, isn't she? No, Miss Yellow is. Oh. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Wednesday. I've just had an ASOS delivery arrive, and it's just this dress. This dress is from Miss Selfridge, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Um, I think I do need to size up, though, because it fits me fine, but then when I sit down, these little buttons here, things, like, spread, and I don't want to be sitting down and having that all over the place. I'm watching this morning, if you haven't already seen the background. I just love it. I feel like it's, like, so... It reminds me of when I used to be in school. The back's just, like, completely plain. But I'm like obsessed with it. It actually fits me fine up here, which is where I didn't think it was going to fit me because, well, actually on my hips is where I didn't think it was going to fit me and it kind of, it, it doesn't fit me more around here. But anyway, I just love it. I think the little bow is so cute. And yeah, this was going to be for when I go on holiday. I thought it would be kind of warm enough, but not like, I probably wouldn't get hot in it because it's going to be like 20 degrees-ish every day. So yeah, I'm in love with it. But 10's out of stock, so I've got to wait for the 10 to come back into stock for me to be able to order it. Problems. Okie dokie, so we've had a bit of a, a scare earlier. Mr Blue had a bit of a funny tummy and I walked in and they were all completely caked in it. And I was just about to leave and I had to go, um, basically the house, one of the properties we clean had um, a repairman coming to fix something so I had to go and <laughs> like meet him there and let him in and I was 10 minutes before I was supposed to be leaving we discovered the puppies all covered in diarrhea so if you can see that yellow on them that is a little bit we just we tried to get off as much as we could but it's kind of we're gonna have to wash them again later so we, why are we quickly doing it because we just didn't know what was going on um seems to be okay they're all very much themselves still they're all as you can see Mummy Tilly has really stepped up and looked after them because we had to bath them also they were all soaking wet and we obviously had to keep, stay warm so she came in and she's been looking after them very very well um but yeah no they're all doing okay now I think um oh nice and stressful situation so I went over and put the guy in the guy fixed everything and then we came back and I've just come back and I need to get on with doing the paper I was doing oh, but they're just so cute I should just sit here and watch them all day Miss Yellow, she's like, Mummy, Mummy, I can't find any of your nipples. Can you let me in, please? <laughs> Puppy's first tennis ball. Puppies! What's this? <laughs> no, no, they have no idea what's going on. Miss Orange. Hey, Miss Orange. Wakey, wakey. What's this? She's like, No. No, Life. <laughs> totally fast asleep still. Come on, wakey wakey, what's this I've just put down for you? What's this? Nice and bright. Well, she has no stir, does she? Don't know. I think she has. I don't even know if she's opened her eyes yet, to be honest. Sometimes they keep them shut. What's this? What's this? Will your eyes open? You can have a little look. Nope, eyes are sealed shut. <laughs> she's like, I'm still asleep. I'm just sleepwalking. So hello there. Welcome to a beautiful, not so beautiful, Thursday. I've just had this gorgeous little pop box arrive in the post. 
Um, and I think I know what's inside, but I'm not sure, but I thought I'd vlog it anyway, because it looks super, super cute. And yeah, how am I going to open it? I think I'm just going to have to pull the rubber. Yeah, there we go. Ribbon's coming off. Oh, I love these boxes. Ooh. Reveal the results. Ah, yes, by Peri Pericone. I think that's how you say it. Very cool. Ooh. So, I have been sent these um, through Love Me Beauty. They've been, they are working with Pericone. I'm pretty sure how you say that. Um, Pericone, they've got some of their products in their, this month's box. So they've told me that they were going to send me a couple of products to give out and just do like a little... Just try out their products um, properly on my skin and show the results. So I'm going to do a whole video on this. I'll probably film it today. I'll start filming it today. And anyway, you guys are getting a little sneak peek. So this is the Intensive Pore Minimizer, which um, it tightens the appearance of pores for healthy, more youthful looking skin. How do I open it? I think I may have a mini one of these, or I have a mini... Oh no, maybe not. I've got a mini something else. So it looks like that. I really like this bottle, although it's very heavy. So I may have to decant some when I go on holiday because it's like proper glass. But anyway, that looks amazing. Next, we've got the oil-free hydrating cream. Ah, I've needed a new kind of moisturizer for a while. I think it's a moisturizer anyway. So, oh, hydrating cream, that sounds like a moisturizer. Um, let's have a look on the side. It's got... Crest sprouts, turmeric, um, olive leaf, and green tea. Let's open it up. Look at that packaging. Little, cute little tub. So it's the preempt series. Preempt. Is that like, that's like when you try and stop something from happening. So it recommends you apply to face and neck in gentle circular motions. Lovely. Again, very heavy, very substantial packaging. We'll have to decant some of this. And this, I think, looks most exciting. A chloroplasm transformative treatment mask with the science of phytonutrients. So that's like to do uh, stuff from plants, isn't it? It's to do with like um, phyto, that's like photosynthesis. So it's like, I'm, guys, I'm just running off words I've heard in science before. It's like capturing light. Ugh, and using it to make energy that exciting okay so it's actually a lot later but i just realized i was going through the footage and um this my i ran out of memory i didn't even realize i carried on talking about this anyway so yeah this is the chloroplasma i can't remember what i just said but yeah those are the things that it can do i think i was opening it up um and um Basically, I've just been doing. Some, I got. Um, I received an email from them about from the Love Me Beauty guys about like what we're doing with this campaign. Well, the campaign is not really a campaign, but you know what I mean. What? Why I've got all of this stuff? So that's it in the pot. It looks so cool. It looks like a proper mask. I'm probably going to use this tonight. Uh, we've got to do like a 30 day trial of the products and give you like before and afters. Put loads of stuff on like Instagram and you know social media about it to try and show you how these products work. Um, and a lot of them, I think, are going to be on the Lovely Beauty site for people to get their hands on. But yeah, super cool. Cannot wait to use this, especially this because I just love masks. I'm just having a mask thing at the moment. I'm just obsessed with different masks. And um, I'm interested to use this pore minimizer because I've never used anything. I don't think I've ever used anything like this before anyway. Um, how do you use? Shake well before use. First cleanse your skin with a non-oil stripping cleanser. Um... Puppies, quiet please. And yes, and then dab a cotton pad liberally and smooth all over the face. Allow a few minutes to dry, then follow with the treatment and moisturise, I guess, that that I'll follow it with. But yeah, this looks really cool. So you wash your face essentially and then use this as kind of like a um, toner sort of thing. I'm not an expert on skincare, but I really want to get into it more and I've been... I was actually about to invest in like a whole new skincare regime and I was just starting to do some sort of research on what I should invest in um, when I got the first email about this. So I kind of held off, gave this stuff a go and if it works then I will definitely be repurchasing. So guys, you'll never guess where I am. I'm at the train station as I always am. Yeah, so 
it's currently Friday and Matt has just come back. He's literally just decided to, like two hours ago, come back and I saw him walking past my car. Is he going to look in? Is he going to think I'm a freak? Nope, we are cool. Yeah, so he has just literally decided to come back because he had a load of paperwork delivered to his home, like his house here. Um, so he's coming back just for like one night to get the paperwork done basically because he wasn't going to get it before we go on holiday otherwise and he needed it to be done like as soon as possible so he's come back to do that and um we have got one of we've got miss lilac's potential family or mummy i'm not quite sure who's coming they're her potential buyers owners forever home <laughs> so i don't know what's this, i don't know how to describe it um people who are interested in possibly taking her home for her life they are coming to visit in about half an hour so um i need to get matt and then get back home so i can go see her and um I keep umming i've got chewing gum i hate having chewing gum i really don't like it i prefer mints but we didn't have any mints go yeah, gum's gone so yeah what else is going on today not a lot I walked into town first thing, oh, funny story, yeah not really funny for me but it's kind of funny, um, I walked into town to go and get a card for someone and um, I got into town, picked out the card, went to pay for it, I didn't have my debit card, I'd left my debit card and I had zero, I had 35p in cash, so I was like, ah, that's a bit awkward, what am I going to do now, so um, I just thought, oh, and then I remembered I had an I have another debit card that I don't use, but um, it has like, what is it? It's got like um, when you pay for, you pay for it, it's like from Nationwide, and then you get like car insurance, not car insurance, and um, breakdown cover, travel insurance, loads of other things, and I happen to have that in my purse, so I was like, all right, fine, I'll use that. Went to pay with it with contactless. Con and then for some reason the machine like rejected. She said, was, she was like, oh yeah, your contactless isn't working very much at the moment. You have to do it the old-fashioned way. I was like, that's fine put my pin in and then realised I didn't actually know the pin for this card because this is a card I don't normally use and I put the pin in for my other card that I use all the time. So then I realised I don't know the pin to my card, it keeps getting rejected and I have 35p in cash and I needed like 350. So I started like having a little mini freak out and I was like all right I'm gonna have to go to the bank and try and like withdraw cash just with the card. Like I think you can go in and like just put the card in and be like give me 10 pounds or something. I'm not sure because obviously at cash point I can't withdraw any cash because I don't know my pin. So I was starting to panic a little bit. Or I was thinking I'm gonna have to ditch these and go use Android Pay in another shop that takes Android Pay because I'm a bit like my, my town doesn't do Android Pay really but I think that um, we have a co-op and I think they do it. So I was like, oh my god, what am I going to do? I was freaking out. Then I remembered I had a £5 note in the back of my phone. So moral of the story is always carry a £5 note in the back of your phone case because it will always help you out when you forget to bring money, like I do. So yep, Matt's train should be here. Should be here three minutes ago. Where is it? Right, Tilly, this is your belated birthday present. Because these were your first birthday presents, <laughs> but that was your actual birthday present. You're going you to bring it over here. You bring it over here. The camera, Tilly. There you go. Surprise, Tilly. It's another puppy. <laughs> Back on the mat. Thank you. <laughs> no, and you. This is quite tough wrapping paper, actually. I'm not sure she's going to walk. <laughs> Come on, we've only got three minutes of memory left. Please stop distracting her. <laughs> Tilly, what's this? She's not the woman. No, really the puppies kept trying to get in the shot. Don't, don't move. He'll move for you. Stay there. It's about time she got a birthday present for you. <laughs> okay, so it's later on in the day. We've got Matt cuddling a puppy. Hannah's cuddling several puppies. <laughs> Tilly is just She's trying to catch up on some sleep. We've just ordered a Chinese. And it's definitely not gluten free, so I'm slightly concerned about how it's this is going to go. Who <laughs> have you got? Mr. Blue. Mr. Blue, what's wrong? Oh, you're cold. 
Oh. So yeah, we're gonna go get our Chinese. Oh, sorry, you said your pillow. <laughs> Hello, careful. <laughs> I realised it was Tilly's pillow as I ripped it off. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna get our Chinese oh, pillow, Tilly. and it's have an entire night of puppy cuddling and movie watching. Binge watching the Kardashians, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> oh, face you're like squealing too um so yeah i want to go get the food now because i'm starving but someone's getting white eyebrows why is my phone keep going lines across it Dash, just someone's getting white eyebrows for us miss lilac we met your mummy and daddy today didn't we and your family teeth. you got teeth some teeth coming through teeth. But it's not focusing so the lighting's no, really bad oh it's in me. focus now show us the little gnashes Oh, they're getting really big actually. What's You've got this some little sharp ones. going for? What's this little paw going for? <laughs> We've girl. got those two there. Yeah, they, they all came and cracked oh, up next to me. This is my leg falling. Till this was Tilly's <laughs> present. <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> this was Tilly's late birthday present. We bought it for her actually like for her birthday, but she was so not bothered by toys that we just thought we'd wait until she was a little bit more bothered. But the puppies quite like it to rest on. Yeah. She didn't pick it up and then she doesn't want to play with it, so it's a bit difficult. She's still tired, poor thing. Anyway, Matt, let's go get the let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's already been like five minutes. Come on, we need to go. Put the puppy down. Let's go. I'll have it. What do you want, hey? Hmm? Hey? Miss Orange, what are you doing? You having a nap? I'll start that again because I feel like I picked up the dog really badly. No, it's okay, it's okay. We've <laughs> got Ying, Ying and Yang. Ying, is it Yin and Yang or Ying and Yang? No you slide idea. them around. There we go. Yin and Yang, Ying and Yang, Yin and Yang puppies. There we go. That's a good. That's a good one. And Tilly wants to go out for a W A O K because Bella said the word. <laughs> Just wait until Bella's mum comes and gets her, and then we can go out for a W A L K. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> She's not happy about this. I'm so sorry, Tilly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. No. Yes, please. <laughs> you don't want one of those kisses. <laughs> so Bella has gone. I was watching, well, Matt and Hannah have just gone out. We were watching the rugby. I don't know why I just paused it. I meant to mute it. Puppies are all playing in there. Well, they're actually having a bit of feet, but everyone's just kind of given up. They're all done. Miss Yellow was sat barking at me, so we put her on here and she's instantly gone quiet. And I'm still trying to edit the weekly vlog from before these guys were even born. So I'm trying to get that done tonight so I can get that uploaded because I'm just getting so behind on the vlog because it's terrifying me. Um... Miss Lilac, what are you doing? They've got some tissue paper and stuff in there because they quite like the different textures and when they stand on it, it crunches and stuff. So they've been enjoying playing with that. Um, we did also just have a little bit of a tummy issue from Miss Orange. So we just had to run and change the bed and give her a little mini bath because she got it everywhere. Um, but yes, back to the editing. Give me boobies, boobies, <laughs> boobies. <laughs> Can't quite get in. You can get in. You got out, so you'd be able to get back in again. She says, no, I just changed my mind. <laughs> She's in a bite of ears now. <laughs> get in there. <laughs> She's trying to bite. Yeah, she is. She's trying. To, she's trying to go for it. She's just chewing. <laughs> what are you doing? What is this? Climb on mummy's head. <laughs> Alright guys, it's later on now. Watching I'm no, we're watching Anton Deck, but Miss Yellow is being very playful. Oh, are you going to bed now? As soon as I get the camera out, she decides that she wants to go to bed. She was chasing, she was trying to bite my hair and biting my jumper. They're just starting to get teeth, so yeah. Time for sleep. But they're just starting to get teeth, so they're really like chewy. They just want to bite everything. I think she may have got lipstick on her because she like tried to. She like tried, she came up to my face and she was like trying to get it, and I was like, no, no, I can't like touch you with makeup, and I think she may have got a bit of lipstick on her. So we're gonna have to give her a bit wipe. A bit wipe. That didn't make sense. Oh, 
you doing? What are you trying to do? <laughs> oh, you want to come for cuddles, do you? Silly puppy. You trying to climb up? Okay, you can come up. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, I can give you a little helping hand. There we go. You want to cuddle? Okay, okay, I can cuddle you. There we go. That's what you wanted. You say goodnight. Thanks for watching this week's weekly vlog. Hope you had a good week. Good night from Miss Yellow. Bye. Bye bye.